blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure intervalent routing using a multi layer switch which is popularly known as svi or switch virtual interface and as you remember in the last in the previous video we learned how to configure intervalent routing using a router and we learned how to create sub interfaces bind them to vlan numbers and assign them ip addresses and we achieved communication between different vlan so today we are going to uh let me open google spreadsheet we are going to finish number four by handling the part two which is internal routing using layer three switch okay all right i'll open to direct us on how to do configuring interval routing using layer three switch or svi switch virtual interface so step one draw the necessary topology decorate and comment guys as you can see i drew this topology intentionally you can see on the first part it department is directly connected to the layer 3 switch the multi layer switch hr department is directly connected to multi layer switch but when we come to finance department we have included um another switch here i did this intentionally to make you understand how you can do it whether you have another switch or you just connect directly okay it's very very important okay all right so uh without any further ado let's proceed uh configure configure uh villains and ascend villain ids on the switch port as per the respective villain okay very very important very very important so guys basically before i can start configuring i'll just tell you the uh, the choice of uh, multi layer switch that i've just chosen for this uh for this lab you can see i've chosen uh, 3560 3560 when you come here switches you choose 3560 3560 okay all right because uh when it comes to configuration there's normally a little bit of a difference when you configure uh, uh for example when you're configuring trunk you know in there's some additional co command that we normally include in 3650 that is not in 36 3650 okay so choose 3560 for this lab but you can choose uh, even 3650 but when i reach that command i will tell you whether to include it or just to exclude it for the case of the two much layer switches okay all right so guys we're going to create how many villains one two three okay but you have to make sure that all the villains are created here also whether it's not attached to the multi layer switch directly or attached to it just make sure that you include all the villains here but for this switch, you can see it's only for IT department, meaning we are going to create only VLAN 30 here. Well, but when you come to this switch, you are going to create all the VLANs that, were, that you have in your network. Okay. All right. So uh, what I'll do, what I'll do is just to uh, configure the VLANs and assign VLAN IDs to the switch. Port. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go here. Come to CLI and just say no. Enable. Uh, config t first VLAN 10 we name it IT okay then we move to VLAN 20 we name it uh, HR then we move to VLAN 30 we name it uh, FIN okay all right you can re you can notice that VLAN 30 is not directly connected to this switch the VLAN 30 is here but we've created it here make sure you do it because if you don't do it there it won't work this switch here must be aware that all villains must be aware of all the villains in the network okay all right so let's assign them uh let's assign a ports villain id so what i'll do i'll just try to check uh come to preferences preferences and always show port labels and close and you can see this fa01 fa02 fa01 then is FA03, FA04, and this is FA05. So from 1 to 2 to access VLAN 10. Okay. So I'll just go here and say interface uh, range FA0 slash 1 to 2. Switch port mode, mode access. Then switch port access, access VLAN 10. And hit enter to exit. Then we go to this range here, which is from FA0 slash 3 and FA0 slash 4. 
then you see uh, interface range fa 0 slash 3 to 4 then switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 20 exit then we jump we come to this switch here okay because this one should be trunk you see this one this one should be trunk this switch this one switch should be trunk so we configure these two interfaces fa 0 slash 2 and fa 0 slash 3 to vlan touch okay we come to that switch uh enable uh config t so interface range range fa 0 slash 2 to 3 uh, switch port mode mode access then switch port access vlan 30 exit i didn't create vlan 30 here so i'll create it again i didn't create vlan 30 on this switch so let's create it again vlan 30 uh, name thing exit do right so that's all on that oh no we still have to do the trunk here okay all right so what i'll do i'll go back to options again click to preferences and and tick this one as if you untick this one make sure you untick this one first and tick it again okay packet data packet normally have some um challenges okay so do the way i've done it all right so guys we've assigned ports the role i mean id villains villain numbers okay so let's go back to our config guide so configure trunk on the link connecting the two switches so guys this one and this one should be trunk okay all right so this one is a uh, fa0 slash one and this one is fa0 slash five so i just go here and say interface fa0 slash one switch port mode trunk exit and do right so we are done everything on that switch so let's do to go to this switch and configure fa 5 slash 5 at trump okay uh interface fa 0 slash 5 switch port uh so this this is where i, I was told i was telling you that uh when we come to a 3560 switch we need to include additional uh command before we uh, make it turn so what's uh, just just i mean if i just say just say switch mode uh, switch port mode trunk you will see the problem here you see an interface whose trunk and completion is echo cannot be configured as trunk mode so there's additional track on um command that you have to include there before we make it trunk so what's the additional command just say switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q that's all and we send so if you just try a uh, switch for more trunk again you see it's now working so when it comes to a uh, 3560 switch always include this one before you include switch port mode trunk but for 36 but for 3650 remember this one is 3560 but for 3650 you don't need to include this one because it's there by default okay we just go straight to this one all right all right so exit and do right so let's go back to our config guide all right configure IP addresses to the computers uh, as per the subnet and configure default gateway in advance use the first IP so for example we're going to use this network to configure this computer this network for these computers this network for these computers and the default gateway should be the first IP address here should be 10.1 20.1 30.1 okay all right so let's start come desktop here and say uh one and two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot uh let's say start from dot five ten dot five i copy then i come here and make the default with the first ip address dot one okay all right so i'll do it very very fast guys to save time because you don't have a lot of much time here and 30.1 good All right so we've done ip addressing on the computers so guys let's proceed we see what's next try to ping us in different vlans this should never work so let's try to ping from vlan 10 to 
VLAN 20 or to VLAN 30. So I'll try to ping, uh, uh, sorry, come to uh, command prompt and ping 192.168.20.5. Okay, so uh, that will not work. So let's proceed. Uh, configure SVI on the layer 3 switch and assign IP address of the subnet. We are going to configure SVI, switch virtual interface. Internet routing using multi switch is normally popularly known as SVI. Okay, so how do we create SVI? I'll click on this switch and I will take you up here. Remember, we created VLANs. So to, for us to create a SVI or a switch virtual interface, we use this VLAN numbers. Okay. So for VLAN 10, we just say interface, interface VLAN 10. And that's all. And we say no shut in case it was shut down. Interface VLAN 10. So this is the SVI. So what we do, we just assign IP address to this SVI. And which IP address do we assign here? The one that we will use for VLAN 10. Uh, as the VLAN 10 default gateway. So it was our uh, IP address to be 192.168.10.1 uh, something else for 255.255.255.0 and it enter. We just exit. That's all. We come to interface VLAN 20 for VLAN 20 and just say no shut. In case it was shut down, it will turn up. Okay. And we'll send it a PLS of 20.1. Okay, then we finally come to uh, exit first. Finally come to interface VLAN 30. Just say no shut. Turn it up in case it was shut down. Then assign the period of 30.1. 30.1. Guys, we are done. Do right. Uh, sorry, sorry guys, I missed so one step uh, which is very, very important for routing. You know, remember, this is a layer 3 switch. And by default, it just acts like a, a switch, okay? So uh, we have to make it act like uh, both as a router and a switch. So I forgot to write something here. Very, very important. Very, very important, guys. I forgot to write something very, very important here. So let's number A to B. Uh, enable IP routing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So that's very, very important. So this one become our number nine. So before we test, guys, before we test, let's enable ip uh, routing so that this switch here carries both switching and routing roles okay all right so um just say ip routing okay do right that's all now everything should work so when i come back to this computer here remember the first time we tried to ping that one and this one they were all timeout so let me start from this one first um hmm. see so let's just give it some time it will ping i believe it will ping now because we've enabled ip routing and we've configured inter vlan routing so what about 30.5 so don't forget don't forget to write ip routing which to enable ip routing on the multi which is very very important okay all right so guys you can see we've achieved communication so guys basically um we've uh We've learned how to enable devices in different VLANs to communicate, okay? Using inter-VLAN routing protocols. And I will come back to our Google spreadsheet and mark number four as done. Yes. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment below. Bye, and see you again in the next class.